This is a 20 second question from Digital SAT Test 2, Module 2B. It is from the harder set of math questions. Number 22 reads, in a given quadratic function, this quadratic function, a and your constants, graph of y equals f of x and the xy plane is a parabola that opens upward and has a vertex at the point hk where h and k are constants. If k is less than zero and f of negative nine equals f of three, what is the following must be true? So one thing is understanding f of negative nine equals f of three. What that means is whether your x is negative nine or your x is three, because that's where f of x, negative nine is replaced x, f of three, three is replaced x. So those are your x's. The y values are equal because f of x is y. So that's what that means. Whether your x is negative nine or positive three, your y values are equal. And the only time that that's true in a parabola, um, well, let me say this the x part of the vertex has to be the midpoint between those two because parabolas are symmetric. So if we're on a coordinate plane, let's say that's negative nine, let's say that's three. And notice there I made it in the x-intercepts, it wouldn't have to be, but um, the y, uh, the x part of the vertex has to be the midpoint. Could be below, but the x part is gonna be the midpoint. So anyway, if we do negative nine, plus three over two, we get negative six over two. And we get negative three. Negative three has to be the x part of the vertex. And the vertex at the point hk, so so far we've got that it's negative three k. That's your vertex. And if you know vertex form of the parabola, I'm gonna start all the way at the upper left over here. Um, it's gonna be f of x equals a times a quantity x, that's parenthesis, x minus h quantity squared plus k. So now we've got a times, since it's negative three, notice it's minus h, but h is the x part of the vertex, so it's gonna be x plus three quantity squared plus k. And if you do the math for this, and I'm gonna, to make this video not be so long, because this is a time consuming question, you'd wind up with, well, I won't skip every step. So this is gonna give you x squared plus six x plus nine. You do not distribute the two there, it's x plus three times x plus three, and then you'd FOIL plus k. Distribute the a, ax squared plus six ax plus nine a plus k. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the function that we have over here. I'm going to write that right underneath and you're going to see how it corresponds. So f of x equals ax squared plus 4x plus c. So whenever you see things that correspond, you wanna set the corresponding parts equal. So ax squared equals ax squared, that doesn't help us at all. But this middle part helps us. These two correspond because they're the only thing attached to the x and I can actually solve for a. C is anything that doesn't have any x at all attached to it. So from this I could write two equations, six ax equals four x. And then if you divide out the x's and you divide out This cancels, that cancels, that cancels. And if you reduce, then you find that A equals two thirds. So you might've been thinking, hey, the parabola opens up, so A's gotta be positive. You might've been thinking that Roman numeral two is true, but notice it says greater than or equal to one. Two thirds is greater than zero. It's still positive, um, but it is not greater than or equal to one. Roman numeral two is false. So if you determine that Roman, numeral, Roman numeral two is false, you could eliminate B and C. And then worst comes worst, 50-50, um, you're in much better shape than you were before. Now, how the heck are we gonna finish this? We need to know if C is less than zero. Well, notice here, I also had nine A plus K has to equal C. And now we know that A is two thirds, so if I do nine times two thirds plus K 
equals C. Then this would be three, it'd be six plus K equals C. And that's about all I'm able to do there. Notice here it says that K is less than zero and that's all we know about K, it's less than zero. So if it's less than zero, notice what happens and at any point in a problem you could pick numbers or think of scenarios. If I made my K negative one, if k is negative 1, then c is 5. If k is negative 2, then c is 4. So does c have to be less than 0? This is everything that I could do for this question. And if c is 5 or c is 4, then it is not less than 0. So I'd have to say Roman numeral 1 is false as well. And d is my correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with, like just about everyone's gonna have trouble with this problem probably. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out our one minute video. You can go to Ivy Masters Learning Center on YouTube, go to the playlists. And for this one, it's test two, module two, but look for the test and module and then the shorter videos just below these longer videos. Have a great day.